Hey guys, John W. Quinn here, the author of Someone Like Me. Time for another video blog. This week, I wanted to talk about leadership. And maybe the, the top five points that I've learned, lessons on leadership that I learned. You know my story. I spent 20 years in the Navy, retired as a senior chief petty officer. My specialty in the Navy was uh, administration. So I started out in the Navy as a clerk typist. And then my last assignment, I ran the administrative department. I was what's called the leading chief of the administrative department on board the USS John C. Stennis, which is a big Nimitz class aircraft carrier, um, crew size of about 3,500 people. And then you throw in the air wing, there are about 5,500 people on the ship. So I've learned a lot working with the Navy SEALs, I was on General Schwarzkopf's staff. So I, I learned a lot about leadership, what works and what doesn't. And I'd like to share my top five lessons, just things that I just wrote down. Um, and I wanna share those with you. So let, let's get into it. Uh, the first thing that I wrote down was, and I'm looking at my notes, never tell anyone uh, to do something unless you know how to do it yourself. This is, this is so important. I've had so many uh, leaders tell me to do things, and I'm like, well, have you ever done this? And the answer oftentimes is no. So as a chief petty officer, what I love about the military is you start out, my first assignment was a clerk typist, uh, typing correspondence. So you get to learn everything uh, about your job and as you go through the ranks, as you get promoted. So by the time you make chief, senior chief, um, you have done everything from even cleaning, uh, knowing how to clean the ship properly and, and those kind of things. But uh, knowing your job is so important. So if you know your job, you're confident in your abilities, then you can show other people uh, how things should be done. So know your job. Uh, get out from behind the desk. Let people see you. I got to tell you, this is probably the biggest lesson for me. Um, it's the hardest thing for me to learn. If you can imagine uh, sitting behind the desk on, a, on an aircraft carrier uh, or a battleship, a destroyer, it's so difficult to get out from behind the desk and to walk around and just letting your, your employees, your, your troops, if you will, see you. It's easy to stay behind the desk and be focused on your inbox. And on those big ships, the inbox is, is never empty. There's always something to do. And it was the hardest thing for me to get out uh, and get out, walk around, let people see you, let, let them know that you're there for them if, if needed. So. Get out from behind your desk, something that's really important. And then this just leads into my next point of knowing your people, knowing who works for you, uh, knowing their families, knowing if they're single or married, if they have children or not, and just knowing a little bit about them so that when they come to you with problems and concerns, you know, you know a little bit about them but getting out and getting to know your people, because again, they're the ones doing the work for you. And remember where you came from. This is always something that I kept always in the back of my mind. Uh, I tell the story of walking on board my very first ship on my very first day and how intimidating that is for an 18, 19 year old man or woman um, it's a it's very, very scary thing. So to remember that and to always uh, remember what it's like to be a young sailor, a young employee walking into a big, maybe you're working for a Fortune 500 company or something like that, to walk in on your very first day and know what, know what that's like and remember what that's like no matter how big you get in your career, um, to always remember what it's like to be that person walking in the door for the very first time, 
first time. Maybe it's the first job ever. So try and make them comfortable, put them at ease, sit down and talk to them, show them where things are located and, and just kind of put them at ease. And, and that's something that I've, I've always, always tried to do. And then the last thing is to remember that your employees are always watching you, right? So how you conduct yourself, even, you know, the smallest things, how, how you wear your clothes, your uniform, how you address people, uh, your attitude, those things are so important. And somebody's always watching, no matter, and especially what you say. If you say, hey, we're going to, uh, everybody's getting out of here at noon on Friday. Sure enough, come noon on Friday, your employees are going to come up to you and say, hey, do you remember what you said on Monday? It's noon. We're ready to go. So be careful what you say. Be, be careful um, how you act. And just know that somebody's always watching. So hopefully this is helpful to you. Again, my name is John Quinn. Check out my website, johnwquinn.com. This is my book. That's what that looks like. You can pick that up on Amazon. And if your company or organization is looking for a motivational speaker, uh, I've spoken all over the world, sharing my story, uh, reach out to me through my website, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'd love the opportunity to come in and share my story. So all the best, guys. Be well. Take care. Bye-bye.